Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Roblox and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately on one of my other popular videos. And that is how do you verify ownership to a Roblox account that you're locked out of or has been hacked? How do you verify ownership if you are playing Roblox on an iPhone or iPad? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's gonna be a really quick video. Actually, not a lot of steps involved, but be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you need to verify ownership on a Roblox account? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you forgot your password and you're having trouble resetting it and you need Roblox customer service to give you a hand with that. Or maybe you got hacked and somebody changed your account, password, email, and phone number. Whatever the case is, you can still recover your account, but it's a little bit more involved. If you're looking for inst instructions on how to recover a lost Roblox account, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. This video is only going to go over some information that you will need to verify ownership to your Roblox account if customer service asks for it. So how do you verify ownership for your Roblox account? Well, that's pretty easy. First, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and think about your account and wonder, have you ever purchased Robux on that account? So as you probably know, Robux is the currency inside the Roblox games. And in order to buy that in-game currency, you do need to make a purchase. And if you're playing on an iPhone or an iPad, usually that is going to run right through your iTunes account. But how do you get proof of ownership or proof of purchasing Robux on an iPhone or iPad? Well, it's all handled through the App Store, so I'm going to go and switch over there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and switched over to my App Store. It's this blue and white app right here. It looks like an A. It's going to be the same on an iPad or iPhone. I'm going to click on it now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, this is the home screen to the App Store on my iPhone. But if you want to get proof of ownership and a purchase for your Robux, on your Roblox account, what you want to do is click right here on your profile icon. Yours might be your picture. Mine's just this general looking blue guy. I'm going to click there now. All right, guys, I went ahead and click there. Next, your account screen is going to pop up. But if you're looking for proof of ownership for your Roblox account and customer services ask for a receipt to Robux that you bought on this account, what you want to do is click right here on the top. That should be your name and your email to your iTunes account. I'm going to click right there now. OK, guys, I went ahead and click there now. It has pulled up my iTunes account settings. You should see your Apple ID here at the top. But if you want to get proof of purchase of Robux on your Roblox game, what you want to do is look down here on purchase history. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked in there. And now you can see I am in the purchase history for my iTunes account. And if you want to get proof of purchase of Robux inside your Roblox game, you should look for this. Go ahead and scroll through until you get to that line. And you can go ahead and click right here. This only sh by default shows the last 90 days. However, if you didn't purchase Robux in the past 90 days, you will need to click right here. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you can go ahead and keep searching through all of the transactions until you find your Robux purchase. Let me go ahead and click back. Okay, I went ahead and clicked back. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and click on the line of your purchase. This one is still pending, but you should see this line right here, total build once the transaction has gone through. So that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a copy of the receipt. So let me click on this one right here and just kind of show you what a receipt looks like in your iTunes. Okay guys, I went ahead and clicked into a receipt. This is not for my Robux purchase, but once that transaction is done pending, then this will pop up. And what you wanna do is go ahead and screenshot this, depending on which device you have. I have an iPhone 11, so I'm gonna click both of these at the same time. If you have one of the older models of iPhone, you wanna go ahead and click the power button and the home button at the same time. And what that'll do is go ahead and screenshot. Let me go ahead and screenshot now and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I got the screenshot right there. Let me go ahead and cancel out of this. Okay guys, I went ahead and canceled out of that. Now I have proof that that account was used to buy Robux on my Roblox game. Now that's if you bought it through the iTunes app store. However, a lot of people buy Robux on different platforms. So you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it directly from the Roblox account. And it doesn't really matter where you bought it from. You're still going to want to screenshot the receipt like what we did here. If you bought on Amazon, then you're going to want to screenshot that receipt. Let me switch over to a Roblox receipt through Amazon in my email inbox. Okay guys, I went ahead and switched over to my email and then what I did is I just searched for 
Amazon Roblox. So it shows a purchase that I made buying Robux on that account. Same thing, what you wanna do is go ahead and screenshot that. So once you screenshot that, then you will need to follow the instructions that you get from Roblox customer support to upload a picture of a receipt of purchased Robux for your Roblox account. Also, another thing is you do need to email from the email address that you set your Roblox account up from. Now, what if somebody else bought Robux for you on their iTunes account? Well, that's pretty easy. What's going to happen is Roblox customer support is going to ask you to send them an email asking for them to unlock your account, but you need to use an email address that was used to purchase Robux. So if you had a family member buy Robux for you and it went to their email inbox, they're going to need to open up their Gmail or their Yahoo mail or whatever internet mail they use. And then they will need to start a new email, message Roblox customer support, let them know that they made a purchase for Robux for you, and then be sure to include the date and how much Roblox they bought for you. And Roblox customer support will be able to match their email to your account that you're locked out of. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to verify ownership to your Roblox account, it's as easy as screenshotting receipts that you have used to buy Roblox Robux, or you can have your family member email Roblox customer support from the email that they used when they bought Robux for you. If you were able to verify ownership to your Roblox account in a different way, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.